It's an astonishing church. Honestly, how am I going to organise this video? There's so much to say about this church. What's this? It's St Margaret of Antioch. Hello. You're from the VNA. I used you in my video about St Margaret on this channel. Link in the description. I know. Some of it was mildly good. OK, well, why do I need you in your, this bit? I know you're St Margaret, but you're the patron saint of childbirth. Is it really on message? If you're talking about children, I think you'll find this form of presentation is an established meme. OK, um, and you're one of the 14 holy helpers. You know, people pray to you for help. I think it's pretty clear to everyone that you need some kind of help. All right, then. How do I organise this video? I think you want to see what the church looks like from the outside. The rector Tim Good has lots of interesting things to say. Which is at the far end, the post-resurrection appearance. What does that mean, the commissioning? The commissioning was when, before he ascended to the Father, mm -hmm. he commissioned the disciples to go I see. and okay. spread the good news. And you've got a nice bit about Edmund Halley, who's in the churchyard. Here's how you find his grave. And some other surprises. The outcome. But it seems like the main reason was that the chute was badly put together. Wikipedia says that a larger, stronger parachute might have done the job. Uh, you still haven't mentioned me yet. So, have you got one minute just to talk about St Margaret in particular? St Margaret is one of those saints that is... Um, there's a huge amount of myth about her. Myth? You won't have time to talk about the donkey? Um, just, how is Mungo? Uh, oh, so it was fine. <laughs> and you're bound to go on about how you first encountered the church I ever joined was Blackheath Choir and the first concert I ever performed in was in this place. And I imagine you'll probably want to luxuriate in the interior decor of this amazing building. What are you? Omnicompetent.